Hey everyone, it's Ayush Mato here from It's Yellow Thing and in this video we are going to see the native applications from YOLA itself and uh, take a quick uh, walk through from those to the, from those applications. So the first one we have is the people app, is the contact apps which uh, allows you to add contacts and uh, manage them. So it's kind of handy app, uh, you can see the recent calls and here you can see the uh, quick launch to the first letters of the things. You can just tap on that and uh, you will see the uh, context of the similar names. Uh, on uh, the options are here the show search and add contacts. So the show search option will simply uh, give you a keyboard to type a name and you can just simply go and search for the contact. You can hide the search and there is an option to add contacts uh, it's a very simple form you can add first name last name nickname details and you can of course add more details like job title role department and uh, etc similarly the phone you can add a phone you can add more phone you can change it by long tapping it and by changing label you can add personal label and of course you can change the type you can um, like you can change the video and you can of course delete it okay here's the delete thing and it will delete it similarly goes for email you can add many emails whatever you want there's an address website and dates and the dates option there are birthday set date here's the year and many other things you just need to type the name like let's create a test subject uh, okay and accept it the contact is created <coughs> let's go to the contact here is it here it is this one no this one we had created here. so here you can see you can delete it you can link it with uh, any other thing like uh, from the Facebook or Google wherever you want and see the latest from those contacts you can share it using email Bluetooth or MMS or you can just go and edit it the same form and you can add thumbnail images from your gallery you can of course favorite it and it will come up to the favorites on top here you can see here the test subject here so it was all in the context you can of course import the contacts from the settings you need to go to settings then apps people and then you can see the settings here you can import contact from import wizard it will show you many options from different phones you can of course import from using a bluetooth or from sim card or using a contact file saved in your SD card so these are all the settings you, you can have you have option to delete all contacts from the import wizard you can use any service like Google or um, Microsoft Exchange for Microsoft you need to uh, you need to install an application called Microsoft Ex uh, exchange which is available in the YOLA store here let me show you that too so after installing that it is all same like the Google contacts you just need to log in using your Microsoft account like I have used it and all the contacts will be uh, synchronized there is an option that uh, it will synchronize two way like if I delete any contact it will be deleted from Microsoft account also but I am not sure if it works because it do not it did not work on my previous phone Nokia X so take a look on that whenever you are porting back from YOLA to any other phone so here are the YOLA apps and uh, you can see this this Microsoft Exchange application you need to install before importing using your Microsoft account so that was the people application let's go to the next which is clock so the clock application basically shows you the clock current time and the alarms so you can see I am 
a bit kind of you person who who uses lots of alarm option include stopwatch new timer and the new alarm so you can of course start the stopwatch you can just play it add it pause it and delete it there is a timer so you can set the time until it countdowns like we can currently it's uh, around six you can begin use seven <coughs> timer name uh, test and the timer is started so it shows you that the there are 420 minutes remaining tapping on that you can see that the timer is started until that time it will just tick and will tell you the alarm so how to set a new alarm let me show you that so here you can set an alarm name the alarm how many times you want to repeat it uh, there is no direct option for this you can use to change this alarm uh, tone for that you need to go to the settings and change the alarm tone from the ambience so this was the clock and next up is the notes so you can see here are the quick notes with the colored labels so you can create new one add anything just swipe down and it's already saved and you can see the current note here and all notes here which you were not working right now and you can of course quickly add a new note by the way I have forgot to show you the uh, cover functions of the clock so let me show you that also <coughs> on the clock you have this timer and a new alarm and you can of course see which which alarms are activated from the cover app itself next to the media application so you can see here are the different playlists all songs albums and artists you can of course go to all songs and select the song you want to play or just search it or you can just shuffle all let me play some tunes first okay so this is how it plays you can see this is the play menu you can of course swipe up for different options like add it to playlist shuffle or not or repeat or not so I'm down to change it and you can of course scroll or skip the song to any other place and you can see the song playing on the cover app itself you can just swipe left to pause swipe right to pause and swipe left to skip to next song similarly there are you can see the album view you can just swipe down to stop a song I guess yeah the song uh, stops whenever you swipe that down like this the song will has stopped and this is the album view you can just swipe scroll very fastly there is no thing like you can scroll using fast scroll so that's a disappointment the media app is very basic similarly here is the artist <coughs> you can go to any artist you want and tapping on that will show you different albums of the artist so this was the media app um, nothing more you just go to the you can just go to the uh, currently playing song from this and it will show you the song currently playing nothing much fancy here now let's go to the documents so here you can see different documents it supports almost everyone like PDF, .d, .doc or XLS or PPT anyone so that's a nice addition, nice addition but you can't really create any document you just open the pdf it will open up you the pdf file swipe towards the i guess swiping towards the left will change it no yeah tapping on this will open this and you can swipe towards the right to change it similarly there is the excel file you can open it will show you the excel file 
but you cannot edit you can just see it and similarly there is the dock application and it is showing you that the does not exist a error so that was the documents app uh, here is the calculator very simple no any scientific calculator you can just perform simple addition subtraction and multiplication division and uh, it can uh, mem memorize like 55 and 6 equals to this thing and when I will multiply it it will kind of change it take it to A and you can just do anything and divide it with B quite nice and you can just also swipe to see what are the calculation you have done so this was the calculator and you can see latest calculations here on the cover app um, I guess the video is getting lengthier I will show you the other apps in some other video uh, by the time just keep looking for next video thanks for watching subscribe and like